from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Aaron Reeves. Well, last night, and really more early, like really early this morning, we had that line, a broken line of storms come through. Some of those strong to severe with some hail and some wind and just enough here at Rick's Place to cause some damage and mess up the pergola pretty bad. You can see uh, not in good shape there. Some of it ended up in the street, so... Uh, uh, most places missed out on this type of stuff, but some people did end up with, unfortunately, some damage as that rolled through more so as you headed off to our east and northeast and the Arkansas, Missouri and points onward from there. We are running about 20 degrees colder the, right now than we were yesterday at this time, so it is noticeably different outside today and with that drier air in place, clear skies, winds that are relaxing, we're going to talk about those temperatures tonight, especially Tulsa to the north, uh, mid to lower 30s, so these pink and purple areas we're talking about the potential for a light frost or freeze uh, developing in some locations. Not pr as prevalent to the south where we're around 40, but uh, if you put some plants out a little bit early, you, uh, just kind of be aware you may want to deal with those here before tomorrow morning. We've got a couple of chances of that here before we get too far into it. These colors here, that's what those are for. Those are those frost freeze issues. Storm system continues to move away. Long line of showers and storms. Still severe thunderstorm watches a few warnings off on our eastern uh, section here around the Mississippi Valley and points eastward. Quiet in our neck of the woods, quiet out west, front moving on to the west coast, but really overall behind that, not much going on. 59 currently in Tulsa. The warm conditions shoved well east, basically Appalachians and points east from there. Rockies, northern plains, all cold. Uh, even Phoenix, not super warm. Going forward Thursday, we're still going to be a bit cool, but we'll start to warm up a little bit. Going forward from there, notice we stay dry. Friday looks good, warming up. We continue to warm into the weekend. Can't rule out late Sunday a couple of showers, but I mean, that chance looks really small. Otherwise, we're going to stay dry, continue that warming trend going forward and continuing to remain dry going forward, it looks like overall as well. Uh, so that's kind of what we're looking at. It'll be interesting. We're going to enter a kind of quiet, uh, period with a lot of temperatures that'll be continuing to warm up. Right now, though, we're chilly. 50s, some low 60s down to the south. 59 in Tulsa, that's about as warm as we've been this afternoon. Future view overnight keeps us dry, drops us down into chilly territory. Rolling into the afternoon, we'll see the sunny skies. We'll see light northeast winds and temperatures just a, a tick or two warmer in the mid 60s. A little chilly uh, start once again on Friday. And then as we move into Friday afternoon, a little warmer and then onward from there will be around 70 Saturday well into the 70s on our Sunday Easter right now at least looks to be pretty good currently lots of sunshine 59 north breeze there at 13 gusting a bit higher than that and as we go forward notice as mentioned those rain chances not looking super impressive maybe towards next weekend we could get some changes that would maybe provide more rain but in the meantime the next seven days not much happening in the rain category, just a few showers here and there, and that's mainly on the Sunday time frame. Temperatures from here will continue to slowly warm back up. We'll get back to that springtime warmth soon enough. So if you like those 80s like I do, they're just back around the corner. You will at least be into the 70s here by the weekend, and then we'll be warmer than that, at least as warm, warmer than normal going beyond that time frame, and maybe uh, near or wetter than normal as far as that goes as well. So we'll have that to look forward to maybe for our western counties toward the middle of the month. We'll keep our fingers crossed because they need it from Tulsa to the west where it is bone dry. In the meantime, uh, cool but pleasant over the next couple of days.